As we are all aware, the Education Collaborative has a mandate to pull together institutions that are very resolute in their um, quest for excellence in terms of their mandate of um, teaching and learning, research, innovation, you know, positive student outcomes and entrepreneurship. And you cannot have one person or one institution being excellent in all that they do. And so the approach of bringing a lot of partners on board is to get from the best, all right? Get the best from each institution and learn along. But more importantly, the hub approach allows for innovation because we're all aware that there's slight differences and nuances within the um, sub-regions on, on the continent. So East Africa may have similar problems as West Africa, but then the approach to resolving them might be slightly different. And so taking the hub approach allows us to get the best from people who actually live within that sub-region and they can be innovative and creative in the solutions towards the problems there. The same thing happens in West Africa, Southern Africa. So even though the hubs will be working towards one overarching goal, there will be contextual responses to the resolving the issues and then insights. So it's important in terms of innovation. So we're not doing a one size fits all. Working with the sub-regional approach allows them to have a certain level of ownership, right? Which means that in the long term, they know they were part of it. They started, they determined the pathway with guidance from Ashesi. And because of that sense of ownership, you're likely to have longevity in whatever programs come up as against when it is imposed on the group. So yes, sustainability to a large extent is assured when there's ownership. And I think that's what the sub-regional approach is looking at. East Africa, we did this together. This is where we want to go. We own it with guidance from Ashesi. And that's in the long run is what will create the sustainability rather than something that is imposed on them. And I think that's where what we seek to achieve um, with the East Africa approach.